Alright, what's up ladies and gentlemen with YouTube, Daily here from Daily TNG, and today we're doing another Deck Doctors video. So this will be, I believe, episode number 5, and in this video we'll be taking a look at 5610's Dark Magician deck. So, as in all episodes, um, I'm not going to really go through the deck list now, we're just going to go into a game and see how it does. I see some changes I want to make immediately, but we'll see what we can do in ranked matches. I'm at about a 400 rating, so we're going to do one match with it. <coughs> that obviously won't give us a good look. A great look at it because a lot of it it's not enough time to like actually test but it'll kind of see where we're at with the deck right away just to see kind of the basics of what a match would look like versus something hopefully meta or okay no there we go all right our opponent's 400 rating also so he's probably not terrible at the game that's a good sign right away i'm a i'm a little under 400 right now i've been grinding up with that hero deck i posted in my video before and uh, check that out if you guys want to. I've updated it a little bit, and I can show you guys my updated list here later. It's surprisingly good. Um, you can kind of see how the other two works. Had a lot of good matches. The main issue I've noticed like recently is that getting evenly matched is horrible. So I might be citing mind crushes in, but yeah, that's just random stuff. But let's go into this one and see how we go. So let's go first. I think this deck is amazing going first, actually. like If you can get the right hands, it's really broken. Um, and yeah, I opened, pre I opened pretty good. So let's see how it goes. Um, Effect is special. Chain one, effect didn't burn, chain two. Effect to add. Oh, baby, we're making the plays already. It's a pretty good starting hand, actually. Um, so. You know, just do a standard burn 1300. I kind of want to play around the ogre. Actually, I don't need to. I don't need to play around the ogre, so I can just burn him for another more damage. So, burn 8. You know, just standard one stuff. I actually really like the Winwitch. I like the Winwitch engine. I just hate that there's not more cards to it. Like, not more stuff you can add, but it's not that bad. Blah, 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 blah. Anything, anything, take your 8 burn. So, burn 800. What really sucks is it's like it's super prone to Valor. That's my issue with running it right now. Uh, I, it just being Valor prone always really sucks because Valor is such a pre uh, such a prevalent card currently. But our opening hand is fairly solid, uh, so we'll drop that, mo that destruction of your crystal wing. Effect. I, I think when I think the Win Witch Spellbook engine is just like great in a lot of decks, and this deck facilitates it really well. Um, it's one of the reasons I chose this is because I was actually considering playing something similar to this, um, but actually using the Win Witch engine. Or sorry, using um, using this as a pure core of a deck. I just didn't know what else to add to it, honestly. Um, the other variant you can do is Draco, but I don't really like the Draco variant. I'm just not a Draco fan, honestly. So we'll do that. We'll go bam, draw two cards. Uh, unfortunately, it really didn't open very much other than that uh, Crystal Wing, so kind of sucks there. Not seeing Dark Magician, yeah, is definitely kind of shitty. I think not running Desires kind of spooks me. Because you're a little, you like, I, the Wind of Change, don't get me, is very strong, but I don't think it particularly contributes to the win condition of this deck super well. I guess my hand, for the most part, is a lot of one ofs. Like, I don't like this Dragon's Mirror in here. I understand why he's playing it. You use it to drop Dark Magician Knight. Um, I get it. I just don't like it. I guess you can drop Amulet Dragon too. But you're relying on getting a dragon monster, and it's not that consistent, honestly. Trying to draft. Um, yeah, I guess we just have to judgment the fucking summon of that thing. Fuck. Okay. Right now. I'm not sure how he outs the Crystal Wing other than by playing like other than Purple Poison or like Overlaying. Yeah, that's fine. I don't really give a shit, honestly. He can just play with. He can just play. It doesn't matter. I'll still. I should be okay to like win this game as it currently stands. So that's all right. Mm, yep. Electromite Crystal Wing gets Electromite, and Crystal Wing's not dying. I just have to need his penned. That's a normal summon. Okay. Um, no, 
Lorenzo? Yeah, I don't care. Make Electra might. If you pen, you just get if you get judgmented. So we're in okay position there. If Cresto Wing gets removed somehow, I can just bring it back with with um, Monster Reborn. So I'm gonna hold Monster Reborn for that. Otherwise, I might just hold it for the game push right here. I'm not sure. The other strategy here to go for is to make a detoed right here. That's what I would do personally. If he goes detoed and then pens too, he's in a good position. Very good position, actually. So that that would be my guess is the play he's trying to make here is the detoed pen too. Which is spooky. Definitely spooky. Is that a detoed pen too? Ooh. You're actually going to make the electromite here? That's kind of iffy. Um, I don't think that's a good play at all. I don't think you ever make the electromite here. Unless he's just not penned out, but Deep Code is just inherently a better pendulum summon, I think. Yeah, we'll just Judgment to summon, and we negate Deep Code, and we just win the game for free. Standard stuff, you know? Yeah, I don't know. I don't like it, because you have to, like, resolve Wind Witches to, like, get the... This is such a brick card. It's the brickiest card you could, like, literally ask for, you could literally have ever. Oh, uh, okay. That's fine. Yep. Stale me, daddy. I'm just gonna strike. I'm just gonna watch other pens. He only gets two. He gets two from the extra deck, which one will be Astro. And he gets pot one from hand. Oh, pen four. Oh man, this guy's just getting ruined by this judgment, dude. Not playing through judgment strike. That's a spooky thing to do, honestly. But, okay, just turn it after Grave. <sighs> this is rough, mate. Pen 4. Man, that whole hand is just being committed for this. Unfortunate. That should be game. I don't see him not conceding here. Yep. Oh, he left. Okay. Anyways, um, I guess that's not really a real match, but we can definitely see a little bit of where the flaws are coming in. Um, this card, I really don't like it. I get why he plays it. It's a follow-up card. But we're looking at a deck that already has consistency issues. Adding more bricks to it just seems inherently incorrect. Now, if I was to play this deck, I don't think... This deck doesn't win by getting damage in. As it, is it wins by controlling the game. So I don't think... I think upstart's perfect, because you can go for your Windwitch combo, and you can go for your Spellbook combo, and then upstart afterwards to just get more cards in hand. Now, from there, let's look at what else we have. So a lot of the time, we're running three secrets. We're going to be normal. So we're going to be dropping Blue Boy. So I don't know if I liked three Rod in here. When the start is normal, the animal Spellbook Trevor. Like, I, I did it. Again, that's one of those things where I get why you'd want to run three. Like, you want to see this card. But you have... I don't know. I can't... It's really awkward. It's an awkward situation for a deck um, because you kind of rely on having better hands. You rely on a lot of you know, This is such awkward. It's so weird. You rely, you kind of want this card to go off, but you're playing these, which also are pretty much normal. So when you're playing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I guess, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nor you're playing eight normal summons. And one of them is your draw power. Anytime you draw... So, you're guaranteed to open one normal summon, pretty, essentially, from this, is what it's looking like, looking like right now. I guess you can count these as normal summons, too, so you draw these that are kind of bricks. Uh, you're, looking at, you're looking at ten normal summons, and if you, anytime you draw more than one, you're opening hand, your hand's pretty bad. Uh, the deck is really just relying on dropping Dark Magician and banishing with Dark Magical Circle for any sort of tempo, so you don't want to be doing that too much. Um, anyways... I'm not sure how I would cut this ratio, these ratios around that much. I don't think three secrets is correct. I think you want to go two at best. At work, like in most scenarios, two is pretty optimal. So you just do want to see your spellbook engine two. The problem is so many of the cards are good in here that it's hard to discern what's the right ones to cut. I don't think the deck does that much unless it gets into Dark Magician. So I think that's an inherent issue with it. That being said, this deck going second is horrible. Your plays going second are just terrible to the point that I think you 100% need to side deck Valor. Um, 
you you don't play through anything. You just don't. It's just not happening. And right now, if like if I played versus that pen magician player, he went first. With that hand, he was definitely gonna drop like um, Norito on me, and there was nothing I could do about it. I would have lost. Like if he makes Norito against me, I'm not winning that game. That like, Electromite just gives him too many pluses for me to possibly even consider winning that game. So I think we inherently just need to put effect value in here. Now let's talk about the Wind Witch engine because I think that's the next thing. So right now this is taking up a lot of space, and I and I think the reason he played it, which is kind of dumb, is he played it so he could make these guys. But I don't really care about these honestly. If I was going to make these, I'd run Eye of Tamias personally. I don't think they're they're that good of cards. I think they're decent. But they're more fan service cards to me than actual playable cards. Dark Magician Knight is pretty fucking good, but it's not like amazingly broken unless you like Eternal Soul Magician Knight's pretty good, but it's not amazing. I think the way to go would be to cut these. I like I said, the problem I have is that Crystal is so easily edible right now. Um all that guy had to do in that game was just to make a decode. And he would have just put me in a really and like if he made a decode and just didn't pend out like his whole board. Decode just swung over Crystal Wing, and there was nothing I could do about it. Uh, yeah, just correctly making a decode there, and then just going, like, pen one, or just pretty much anything was just going to beat me. The other play he made that beat me was to Chronograph. Uh, was to go Oak Dragon to add, and then Chronograph, or just even put Purple Poison in Stale. Would have just forced, forced my Nidate out, and from there he could have electromited. I think that guy played wrong against it. He didn't really, he didn't try to bait my Crystal Wing. Had he baited it, I pretty much lost. There was, my follow-up was just not, not real at all. So anyways, that's kind of unfortunate. Now, let's do this. Uh, I mean, Village is another card where I see why it's good. I don't like it. <laughs> um, I understand why you play it. It's a pretty strong card, honestly, in most matchups. But the main matchup you're running right now, oh, the main matchup you want it against is Pendulum Magicians, and they don't give a fuck. They don't at all. They can summon a Pendulum Monster, and they're like, okay, cool, now you don't, your village is no longer live, and then they just remove it for free. I don't think that's the right card. I don't think it's that good. Um, if I was to play it, I'd do this. I don't like extra terraforming, blah, blah, blah. So I'm going to cut that there. Um... From here, I like Rods. I like Apprentice Illusion. I think Apprentice Illusion is good enough. Um, yeah, we have so many ways to add Dark Magician. I just don't like... The, the Winnich Engine just adds more bricks to an already bricky deck where you don't need that power play going first most of the time, honestly. Um, Valor is going to do essentially the same thing as Crystal Wing most of the time. Um, although it does not pressure board, it means I don't have to add three more brick cards. I'm playing three normal monsters already, essentially. You're playing three normal monsters that literally do nothing unless you draw the spell and traps with them. Um, and just that seems bad to me. <sighs> I guess from here, the main other card I would play is Ash. Just to, just adding more hand traps. As like I said, this deck is terrible going second. Anytime you go second and your opponent makes somewhat of a playable board, you're not winning the game. So I think just adding more hand traps will give it, get you to the point where you do maybe have a chance at winning that game from there. And really, all we had to cut for that is the Wind Witch Engine. It's six cards, and we have to put six cards that make our... We do sort of weaken our going first hands, but um, these add more new dates to those hands, so I think it's just better... Um, other than that, a way to a protect Eternal Soul would be really nice. Because inherently, your only real protection for it is going to be Navigation. So if they Cyclone you, or evenly match you, you're kind of fucked. And I don't like that. I, I don't like that. I think you have to resolve Navigation first before you can resolve Eternal Soul. So you kind of have to hold back on it, but you still need, you still need Eternal Soul to like resolve to like be your win condition most of the time, which kind of sucks. Um... So with that, being, with that being gone, we can cut these from the deck. And I think one thing we're missing right now, although not super relevant, would be to move these around. Okay. I'll pin the round button. Rip. So I think the one thing we're going to want to look at is what are our options for XYZs? That's a big that's a big one for uh, level 6, actually. Because Apprentice Illusion is a level 6. Uh, having the options XYZ for it with him is, will be pretty nice. So what do we want to add from here? 
Personally, I don't think Beatrice is ever bad, particularly. Uh, if we make this card, it lets us put a Dark Magician in Grave, which kind of meh. I don't think it would be super... It's not bad, but it's not going to be relevant. Uh, the other one he plays is Norito. I think Norito's good. Uh, I want to see... If, yeah. Norito's pretty good, but it doesn't actually like pressure the board at all, unless I want to establish. So I want something that's going to be able to remove cards from the board. Now, Gauntlet Launcher, pretty meme choice, but it's not terrible. Uh, Infinity would be nice if we could make it... Ptolemy M7. Now, this is one where I think this is a fairly strong option. Threatens the board, removes cards, blah, 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 decent. Uh, and the last card I'm going to say to put in here is going to be Underclock. I think it's it's good it's good that it'll remove like a lot of real threats, where it allows just the Dark Magicians to beat over stuff. So anything like... Um, that's not masterpiece. It's just one of those things where the deck struggles to beat over things that are above like, I want to say twenty five hundred, but yeah, about three thousand unless you mage him. Oh, we even have more room if we remove that engine, so we can do that because this might come up sometimes. So now that we have a little bit of room in the extra deck, uh, Reaper is probably another card we can fit into the sideboard here. We remove the Veilers. Let's put Reaper in to increase our sideboard odds in some matchups. Uh, I think it's just relevant. I don't know about Slumber, personally. I don't think Slumber is very good. I think being an Ash target inherently makes it kind of bad, whereas like most of the time, you just want a Gamma Seal. So, me personally, I play three, I just play th I play three Gamma Seals in most deck. I think that's just kind of optimal. Because... Um, most of the time, Slumber, there's so many ways to get it right now. Board, just inherent destruction effects aren't that good. A lot of stuff floats, a lot of stuff doesn't tear. And the decks that do usually have a negation for a spell or trap because they're worried about evenly matched. So Magicians, they make Norito, they make Vortex. Slumber doesn't do anything, Gamma Steel does do things. Yeah, it's, it's understandable. I think, I think it makes sense that you'd play that. Um, Reaper is just so good in so many matchups. So the main things we're going to be looking for in the meta right now with Reaper are going to be ABC Buster Dragon. That is fairly common. Um, Metal Foes Dude. Electromite, wherever he is. Electromite, as we saw versus our Magician matchup there. Uh, so Dark Match Attack. Hmm. I, I like this in the sideboard, actually. So terraforming. Are we going to... I don't like it in that much. Okay. Uh, regarding terraforming, I don't think you need it. I think three is enough. I don't know the matchups. I don't want to even side this against. Let's look. Okay. So considering the meta right now, uh, we're looking at tier one magicians. Tier two is going to be like infernoid. Yeah, tier two is like the 60 card infernoid, light sworn, dinosaur, zombie thing. The village is okay versus them. Uh, it does stop their grass, obviously. Uh, stop shuttle fusion. Which, in reality, we were never worried with to begin. We were worried about to begin with. Um, I'm just trying to run through all the different decks that I could possibly have. To, I could possibly side this against and see where it is. Magicians inherently it slows them down slightly, but it does kind of turn us out of our place for a turn. Uh, it stops our circle and stuff. It's okay, assuming we establish a good board uh, where we have Eternal Soul, Dark Magic Circle, Navigation. Uh, Dark Magician, all those shenanigans were probably in position, but I think we're in a good position there anyways to just win the game. Um, what I would consider more valuable would probably be a card like Cyclone, uh, or even evenly matched in a lot of situations where I can remove the spell and track threats that my opponent is going to play beforehand. Um, Twin Twister is also a possibility of a card where I think it's pretty good in a lot of matchups. Um, yeah, we're... Hmm, it's interesting how this would work out. I don't think Village, as nice as it is as a card, I just don't see it being relevant in every matchup. Or well, at least not relevant enough to a point where I would consider it like I would play this card maxed out. So there's that. Um, now that I'm looking at this, I think we can do this. So we're assuming our most prevalent matchup is probably going to be mag Magicians, possibly Draco. Um, Drawing multiple ash, multiple orders is always going to be a brick. So I don't think we worry about that. Uh, we kind of cut these down. Eight is the perfect number when going for um, when going second. The reason uh, when going second, the reason being is that you have a one in five chance. One in five is having eight, so you're looking at forty. So that gives us about a one in five chance of opening um, a hand trap for every card we draw. So we draw five cards, one in five, twenty percent. We get about a hundred percent chance to draw 
numbers wise it's obviously not just a gambler's fallacy but around that we should have a chance to open this uh i don't know if i like rope either but i'm not worried about that right now huh. so probably deck for a couple more slots but anyways um cedar village I, again sorry to run off tangent i don't know what matchups i would personally put cedar village in versus it seems win more against a lot of decks i did it floodgates them um I get a floodgate sim. Magician's just a normal summon to play through it. Uh, Trick Stars are kind of annoyed by it. I guess they can't use their field spell or their stape goats. And in that regard, it's pretty good in that matchup. But I don't know if I you particularly lose that matchup anyways, unless they just like burn you up. Because Dark Magician, Eternal Soul just kind of beats the whole deck, honestly. Um, Navigation does too. I think if you have a good enough Trick Star matchup, then I'm not worried about it. For Draco, for Draco, they I think they can just yeah they can just tribute over and remove village like no fucking problem. Um, that's not an issue. I just don't see the matchups where this card is coming out and just winning the matchup. And if they even happen to remove it, if you just automatically lose, it doesn't stop one of the problem cards you have to play against, which is evenly matched. I just don't see this card being an auto win in most scenarios. Honestly, that's where I kind of stand on it. I like it. I've always liked Village. Um, I played Cedar Village of Prophecy Control before uh, with, and it just, I just, I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it in the meta right now. I don't think it's the right meta call to fit versus the uh, matchups. So from there, what are we looking at? Um, more Reaper targets is always nice. I think the next one that is on our mind right now is Macabre because uh, Mech Knight Invoked is a thing, kind of. Um, True Draco doesn't matter. Uh, Church Star doesn't really matter. I guess we have the Decode already in our deck, so if we really had to, we could remove that. Um, from there, I guess we looked at what are the other meta decks right now. Uh, you could do Minerva, you could do Omega, but I don't think it's those are that good. Um, that being said, we should actually just put Omega in our, in our extra deck. Uh, the reason being to put Omega in here is we can pretty easily make it honestly uh you have the triple veiler that's just summon this veiler and that's a little major if you need if you want to make it that way um the other thing i was thinking is kind of a weird choice uh is to put a level 10 synchro in here just to add the option to make it with a tuner i know it's not it's not like normal for you to just play these way play these cards uh the synchros but the extra space is there might as well uh just ditch yourself those options that if, when they're real they're real like a leo 3100, kind of relevant at times to beat over certain decks. So, where are we at right now? Let's look at our match. Let's look at our matchup spread. So, how do we beat Pendulum Magician? Essentially, we need to stop. We, if we go in second, we need to hand trap them. That is our only way to beat them, I would say, going when we're going second. Um, going first, we want to just resolve Dark Magician Circle, Eternal Soul, and Dark Magician. I don't see Crystal Wind beating that deck either. Um,. So I think that's fine that we cut Crystal Wing. Uh, then from our matchup from there, we go to ABC. I think we just banish all of ABC's pieces and we win the matchup in that regard. So that's not a problem either. So ABC pieces, no big deal. Um, this is assuming we establish. That's our main issue. We want to get established on the board as fast as possible and win from there. Um, after that... I would say we have to look towards what are our other losing matchups. And to me, I guess anything that, I guess Spiral would hard hard beat us most of the time. They have a really easy time outing Eternal Soul just because every monster in their deck does it. So I think, where do we look at Spiral? I guess we side deck for Sleeper. We side deck out to Sleeper. And then, um, I think that'll be good enough. Oh no, not Sleeper, Helix. Helix, duh. We play um, Damage Sealed out with him. From there, our, from there, we have to look at what the last side deck card would be uh, and what matchups we're kind of worried about. The card I'm thinking really beats a lot of decks would just be the main deck this, but that kills a lot of our options. I would like Desires in here. I don't know if that sounds weird. I think Desires is a good card in this deck. Most of your stuff is three ofs. The only card you, you really get fucked by banishing is Dark Magician. So I guess if you're worried about that being a problem, then I see why you wouldn't run it. Um, other than that, duality. 
Duality is a card I would run. Nether one Witch Engine is gone. We can safely play Duality. I usually, I prefer two usually. Uh, you want to see it, but you don't want to see multiples of it. To see multiples, you just kind of hurt yourself because it's a dead card immediately in hand. I think Desires is the same way, but Desires is so powerful, you just want to resolve it. This card, good enough to resolve early game, good enough to start late game, so I think we're happy with this at two. From there, we have to make another cut to the deck. Uh, I still think eight hand traps is optimal. I think triple apprentice is optimal. Uh, same with Dark Magician for the most part. Apprentice, ooh. Duality kind of conflicts there. I didn't, I didn't think about that. Duality conflicts with Apprentice because you don't get the Dark Magician add to hand, which always sucks. Wieners. Um, knowledge. So the other option is, so we're playing, again, eight normal summons. That's debatable. So again, eight normal summons, I want to add more, but I don't think we can. I don't like the idea of playing nine hand traps just because drawing multiple hand traps doesn't get you to your engine pieces. So if you play too many hand traps or too many traps in general, and you don't have one card like engines, like this deck is a little bit of a combo deck where you need to like have Eternal Soul, Magician's Navigation, plus Dark Magician. Uh, it can be kind of lack lackluster at times. So the other options is we throw in a Desires, but then we're worried about banishing Dark Magician ever but one desire is probably not bad um hmm, what are other options let's look at the limited pool right now that's always a nice thing to go to we just go see like hey what else can we throw in that's a good card uh can't throw in rota reasoning's probably not terrible soul charge with judgment is usually pretty bad we're looking at a 50 50 shot of drawing one over the other so soul charge is an option i just don't think it's that good in the stack uh book is okay foolish burial this is another way to search Dark Magician, essentially, as it puts one in Graveyard. Um, but I don't know if we play that. So for the traps, what are our options there? Pulse is booty. If we don't want to macro ourselves, that's never good. Imperial Order. I think this should be interesting. Once we've established, we resolve an Imperial Order and we just kind of win the game. We don't particularly have a good way to remove it, which is always an issue, I think. But I think anytime we resolve this on a lot of decks, we can just win the match for free. That's my other, that's kind of my opinion on this. Um, a lot of matchups, we just win this for free because once we have Eternal Soul set, once we have Eternal Soul established, we're at a point that we just were worried about spell and trap removal just kind of wrecking us. So we establish Eternal Soul, we establish Imperial Order, and we just kind of control the game from there. Once we've uh, a little bit ran our opponent's out of resources with Dark Magic Circle, we can flip this and just win the game. So this is an auto-win card in a lot of situations. It protects Eternal Soul, which is really important um, before we have navigation set up. And Eternal Soul protects our Dark Magicians, which are kind of our win con. So that's where I move from there. Now let's kind of finish the sideboard up. So I think we've covered the main matchups we're worried about with the Dragon Buster, um, Merhaba, Electromite. So the last one I would say would be common is this covers Draco. I think Cyclones are probably okay to fit in, or even Twin Twister for back row heavy decks. That gives us Dark Magic Attack and Twin Twister to try to fight any back row heavy decks right now on the format. And there's a little bit here or there or any stun decks. Um, so we look at those as possible options other than that the card we do worry about a lot is going to be evenly matched so side decking it out for that is always really nice uh because not every time we're going to draw that magician's navigation uh, to out the evenly matched we cannot do it the same turn we do it drop an even match so at that point um kind of just lose any advantage we have for free by having that so we can play for that so cards that normally people plot side are like scolding which is an okay, an okay choice um, and we're assuming most of the time versus, versus the tier one, versus magicians, we're just going to hand trap them out with Reaper, um, with Reaper, along with Valor, Odor, and D Barrier. So Cyclone's an option to beat them. Twin Twisters is also an option to beat them. We have Imperial Order, which locks out their stales and just kind of sticks them with whatever they have in there. I think we're comfortable in that matchup. So the matchup, I think, with the highest ceiling besides that is usually going to be Magicians. Or not Magicians, it's usually going to be Light Sworn. So I think Light Sworn can kind of just pick us apart, if they, and especially since they have a lot of power in their deck, where if they resolve a big card, they beat us. So I'm going to say we side deck to beat that. And one of the better side deck choices right now for Light Sworn is actually Chaos Hunter. Uh, and this also hits zombies too. So Chaos Hunter is a pretty solid sideboard. It's level 7, so it kind of fits with our theme of monsters. Um, I'm going to say that's pretty solid for there. 
And then the last thing we're going to need is uh, some more our extra deck. I don't really know what else we add here even. So we have the Omega, we have the Leo. Those are both our targets for Valor and our Order if we have to. Um, other than that, I think we're pretty much okay. I think this covers most of the meta matchups we're going to expect to play right now. Uh, other thing I have to kind of worry about is FTKs. So... I guess. What what of these can we make? Election might we can't make. None of these we actually make. Uh, I guess so we just throw our last target in there, which would be the... Chaos Hunter doesn't beat it. Uh, sorry, I'm just trying to think of how we made sure we like beat all the matchups we have right now. The other thing we have to worry about is like FTK Magicians are also popular, but I think we beat that with Valor, Ash, Ogre, Reaper. Uh, I'll beat that. So then the other FTK we kind of worry about is the Gem Knight one. And I think Chaos Hunter beats that most of the time. Uh, and if we don't have our check space, we can just throw a Reaper target in there. So let's just put, um, let's put Master. Yeah. Yeah, Master is how you land it. I guess Lazuli actually is probably better. So, the other deck, yeah, I guess, like, I would worry about, pen, like, that deck, and we just want to play all the Reaper targets we can. So, I think this covers most of our matchup spread we could play. It gives us a consistent main board that can uh, handle going second because of the hand traps a lot of the time, while also just being pretty powerful. And then, uh, doesn't just get ruined by evenly matched uh, Cyclone or uh, MST or any of that, all those things. Now, I think Imperial Order is kind of a card that's a little bit weird to play, um, in this deck because you do kind of re rely on Dark Magical Circle to win some of your matchups but I think it's also an okay card to play because kind of the similar reason there. So opening hand uh, pretty good actually we do want to so we're going to stack our deck for upstart effect So we're going to drop Circle here. Now, I'm going to play around evenly matched here and not flip up Eternal Soul, because we don't really need to, so we have to do that. Top three. So... Okay. So we're going to top three. One, two, three. All right, so let's do what we have here. So Eternal Soul... Uh, all right, so our options right now. We put Eternal Soul to hand. So that goes to our hand. Uh, Monster Born will be a good top deck for next turn, but we have a little bit more disruption if we add that to our hand. And then, okay. So then we get the Eternal Soul to hand, which is nice. Not a, not really necessary though. Uh, but then we can activate Upstart to get this Ghost Order to the hand. It's always great. So then from there, I'm just gonna set the navigation. He'll think it's the Eternal Soul most likely, so he'll just bait into. He'll walk into removing it. Uh, and from there, we should be okay. Hand's a little underwhelming, but I think we recover pretty well with Eternal Soul, so that's all right. Pass turn to him. Terraforming? Okay, that's fine. Trick Stars. Okay, I think Trick Stars are a pretty easy matchup, honestly, for this deck, so I'm not particularly worried about it. Effect? Uh, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Nothing I can do about that. I just have an order in hand. Lycoris. Okay. Light Stage Effect Target. We can do that in the end phase, but I'm worried about him removing it. Um, let's order the light stage. So it'll save us some burn damage. Order, remove it. If he has a second one, I guess, fuck him, but nothing we can do about that. So I think right now, I don't know how Church Star beats me from this position. Okay, Tandina search. Yeah, okay. And we just kind of let Magician's Rod die, because it doesn't really matter. What do you search off that? Another light stage, of course. Oh, yeah, he added the hand. Duh, I'm stupid. I knew that. 
So he has double Lytris. Um, hmm. Interesting. Obviously, if it was Eternal Soul, I would just flip it face up and not give a shit. So my guess is he has an Ogre and he's trying to bait it. Um, I don't know how I want to play this right now. So if he goes double Lytris, he can make Grand Pulse, which would be kind of annoying for me. Um, I don't want to drop it from here, because then he's going to just chain to bounce. Yeah, we'll have to chain, chain. He can Ash this, which is, would be problematic. Chain. Yeah, so if I hit Candy and he's just gonna bounce no matter what, so we won't worry about that. I don't remember if it's seven or not. I'm gonna drop out Apprentice Illusion from here. Um, circle. Circle. Oh, yeah, good point. I forgot to take 400 from that. Oh, yep, yeah, that was. Yeah, that's a, he was exactly trying to do that. He was trying to bait out the Eternal Soul. Okay, we played around it pretty well there, I think. Yeah, so I th my strategy is what I thought it was. He was trying to um, get me to flip Eternal Soul. That way he could just remove it for free with Ghost Loader. But I had the navigation, so I can play around it. And I have double Eternal Soul now. Uh, okay, I'll lose, 400. I'll lose 400 for that also. No big deal. Ooh, wait. Oh, I can. Oh, never mind. It is dark monster, not just dark magician. Um, I guess we'll just apprentice. Apprentice. Apprentice boost. If he has the honest, he has the honest. It's damage step. Okay, now that's gone. He doesn't have light races to resolve on me. Uh, I can set double Eternal Soul here, and I'm pretty safe from his boards. That back row. I'm assuming it's a scapegoat, honestly. That would be my guess. Oh, no, the Navigation. Reincarnation here. Um, interesting. I lose double Eternal Soul, and I think I never want to do that. Oh, he might have the Droll here, though. If I let him Droll me, um, that wouldn't be bad. I just negate the other thing so he's gonna try to draw lock me out that would be my guess he wants to resolve state out we'll let him there's a good chance i draw into a way to get another one anyway so we'll let him fuck him i don't care that's fine he's trying to either get reincarnation or he's trying to resolve state out so he can beat over me i don't care all good top deck so far yeah that's pretty good actually i think we just win from here uh illusion we have game. We can force game here, I think. So let's drop this fucker. So I can add Dark Magician from deck to... Are you fucking kidding me? What is that? Wow, that is... Oh, wait, I have that to that, uh... Navigation it. Yeah, you know that's coming. So my guess is it's staped out set right now. But we get a Dark Magician to hand. I should have played around the Torrential. But I think we can... Fo we force the Goat here. Battle face. Attack. Oh, it has to battle on Pulse Monster. That's unfortunate. Uh, attack. And attack. Main phase 2. Tribute. Oh, wait, we don't get Norito off this. Lay down. That's not actually. Uh, hmm, how do I play through this? I can drop Red Eyes Flare Metal, and I force him to, like, not summon anything, but then if he just makes Boreload, he beats me automatically, which is a problem. I was thinking I could make Norito, Norito but I can't. 
Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. I guess we just fuck me. That's really annoying. So I'm missing. I feel like I'm missing extra cards here that it would be like super relevant. So let's just. Yeah, that would be really nice if I had a way to like get him to resolve it. Josh. They have to resolve. Should we put the other Dark Magician here? Summon good. Red Eyes Flare Metal is a spooky play, but again, I'm worried. Like, I know those are two Lightresses. That for sure I know. The card I'm worried about is this being Stapedote. If this is Stapedote, I lose. He'll burn for five. How do I beat the state note other than to force it? I don't know if I can in particular. I guess I could have swarmed the board, but he still just beats me. With, he still beats me with like Nindrasu Pop. Um, how do I win this game then? Good question, Tyler. Good question. I guess we just hope it's not state note. That's pretty much our win con right now. Yeah, that's really a mattress. Okay. Yeah, I guess we go flare metal. Hope he can't play through. Because right now, my guess is if it's not staped out, no matter what, we lose a staped out. But if it's not staped out, this should seal the game. That's staped out. He's got it. I respect it. I'll respect the staped out winning the game here. Yeah, it's a fucking staped out. Yep. Oh, he burns for five. That's so close to killing him, too. It's hella annoying. Yeah, we won. We lost to a torrent. We lost to torrential escaped out. Essentially, like that beat us. That's so dumb. Staped out so fucking good. <laughs> oh, it's AIDS. Let's say just target your set. Yep. We'll flip it. Okay. That's fine. He dies to Boral Load Burn? What? If he attacks, he uses Boral Effect, he just loses the game. So he has to attack over and then just not use the effect of it, I guess. I don't think I should have flipped Order there, rip. Oh, that's so bad. Okay. I can't even respond to the attack drop either. That's shit. Now, he kills me most likely. He might just Boral attacks over and then just kills me. 100 short. Rip. Rest in pepperonis. Oh my god. Like, actually, normal summon Boral, and he just kills me with like. I drop for turn and burn out, pretty much. Oh, he's not gonna kill me here? Oh, sick. Okay, cool. Then there's a way we can win. He actually had game. Oh. GG. It's an activated effect. You die. What? Oh. Immediately after it resolves. Does it matter that I control it? Immediately after it resolves. I'm pretty sure. The judges online to check. I want to check the ruling quick. No judges. I'll let it go through. I'm pretty sure you still take it, but that's all right. Last uh, 2800. Rip. So we drew, and that didn't win the game. Okay. Yeah, you got it. That was unfortunate. I thought he would take the damage from it, but I guess not. That sucks. Wieners. I still died. He still ulted him, anyways. Um, so the card we beat this matchup in. It's just like anything. I feel like that, that was a super winnable matchup. I lost to summoning a monster, honestly. There's no reason I should have done that. All I had to do was not summon a monster and then hold the torrential, and I just won. Yeah, that was dumb. That was dumb of me. 
Mistakes are made. Uh, well, side the still draining. I think still draining is really strong in this matchup. So, yeah, I think I win this matchup normally. I lost the torrential. Just always, always a bummer, I guess. Secrets. Okay. And the hint's kind of underwhelming. It's in my opinion. Does this tribute as cost? No, it does not tribute as cost. That would be too good. Um, okay. We have to drop out the Magician of Prophecy effects. Right now, we are needing a lot to win this game, sadly. Will you me? Please, Daddy? Yeah, this trend sucks. <laughs> like, I get why you play it, but it still sucks. <laughs> okay. Yeah, fuck Boral. Boral is like staped on the Boral is so good. It just killed me. Um, yeah, I don't like not having the other normal here, but that's okay anyways. Uh, knowledge. Knowledge, Ash. Ash on Knowledge. Standard. Fucking... Yeah, dude, that sucks. Fucking robe is so bad. Man, this sucks. So I just bricks. Brick city. Brick, brick city, bitch. Why didn't I circle? What the fuck am I doing with my life? Why didn't I circle? All I had to do was circle there, and I just got like the freest pluses in the world. I'm just bad. Ignore me. This stack stood I'm bad. <laughs> I literally just had to circle, and I, I, set, I stacked myself for a good draw. I just had to circle. I stacked myself for a good draw. Oh, wow. Fucking more damage. Great. The pain... Yeah, dude, that that was rough, honestly. Oh, okay. Yeah, I would have been able to put that to my hand. I don't know if it mattered, but uh let's see drits first so we get the knowledge out of the deck. Where where it at though? Okay. So I'll get the knowledge out of the deck here. He fucking Yeah. Fight me, fight me, bitch. Fight my 2K wall. <laughs> That's damn. I lose the tape code again. Tape code's so good. Playing fucking tape code control is broken. It's actually broken. God damn it. That's so dumb. Literally just lost a tape code. Tape the hand traps and tape codes. Too good for me. All right, I'm playing for someone who's actually good at this game. All right, uh, we get to go first. Okay, yeah, we should be okay here. Losing the fucking state code is AIDS, actually. Oh god, that's so bad. Oh no, this is good. Um, we boopity boopity this to grave. Okay. And then we set cards. I feel like you need more pluses in this deck. Um, I guess Prophecy is a pretty good plus, but still kind of lackluster in a lot of ways. Yeah, it, that just requires a few more pluses to be strong. Um, and it's hard to add those and not just play more hand traps because hand tra you need the hand traps for one second. The only thing I think of is just play another Prophecy, but I like Duality in here, but it conflicts with Apprentice. It's kind of meh. Okay. Let it go. So, ooh, true Dracos. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Put that spell card to your hand, daddy. You're going to have a bad time. <laughs> All right. He put Heritage on Rezo. On Rezo. If he has the fucking order, I'm going to be so mad. Drop that. 
And I want the other Dark Magician in hand here. Alright, I want to special summon the other Dark Magician. Um, on summon. Spell. Ooh, the pain, the suffering, the death. Lucky, yeah. yeah unfortunate. Let's see that hand. All six spells. Let's go. Let's go. All six spells be hilarious to me. So tribute. At least, oh, diagram, diagram, and heritage. Oh, oh, the pain. Okay, okay, that was dirty. We did him dirty there, guys. We did him dirty. So for this deck, Valor is booty. For the most part, unless they like playing Spellbook Engine, then it's not that bad. But we want Ash for this deck, and we want Kaijus for this deck. And I think we have an okay matchup besides that. Oh, Dark Matched Attack is pretty woke, but it's pretty slow. We can go second with this and resolve the Dark Magic Attack. Okay. Um, I'm going to stop being dumb. Imperial Order is okay, but not when we're going f second. I think that's see, that's an okay sideboard. Okay, we're good. I play versus like the two decks that I can't like sideboard my Reapers in, and like Reaper is good versus like 90% of the meta. <laughs> it's so dumb. Yeah, Eradicator is broken. No hand trapperinos. Bad days are about to happen. We're about to have a bad time. Maybe if I draw like Damaseal off the knowledge, we're in an okay position. Uh, my guess is that he's gonna fuck my asshole with the. Uh... Ooh, set five demise. Oh baby, where's the ash when you need it? Yeah, that's good. That's fine. Yeah, okay, fuck me. I'm just yeah, just ash or just demise me. No big deal. Flip that terraforming now. No big deal. Flip desires and duality. Oh, just get all the cards. Just all the perfect cards you need. Drop drop masterpiece on me, please. Terraforming. Oh no, you drew it. Okay, that's even better. Now he's in a fucking heritage draw like four. Oh, this is why you need hand traps. It's so dumb how much advantage this guy's gonna get right now. He's gonna end on like masterpiece, normal summon diagram, and I'm just gonna cry. Our masterpiece, other true Draco card to search cards, diagram, and like fucking eruption. It's ridiculous how much shit you get from this deck when you just go off like this. Uh, this is where Droll would be hella nice. Ooh, the Imperial Order. Oh man, that's that's a sexy fucking. T that's a sexy card. <laughs> I like it. I'm down with the Imperial Order. It's I did it. It seems kind of shit though. Um, I still think you stop a circle. Like I don't care that much. You, and I can't be cyclone. I guess he's worried about me cycloning him, but I don't play cyclones in this deck. That's pussy shit. That's pussy shit. So, yeah, go for it. Diagram me, daddy. Do you? Okay. I'm not good enough to draw hand traps, mate. I am not good enough to draw hand traps. Ooh, disciples. Oh, search that heritage. Search that heritage. Or you know what? Search that masterpiece now. Oh, man. I, I can't play through. Uh, masterpiece is real rough. This piece is a real rough card to deal with. Okay. Okay, Majesty Maiden. You know what? I'll respect the Maiden. Heritage? Are you already going to Heritage draw? Oh, okay, Tribute. I was going to say, oh my god, I'm so lucky. Oh no, now he's... Ooh. Ooh, now he's going to Tribute over again to drop the Masterpiece so he can draw three cards. Dude, I love... Oh no, never mind. He doesn't have it. Okay. Okay, he doesn't have the other card but we're still in a predicament if he has set three and like normal summon dino we're, we're having a bad day this game's rough this game's real rough oh and there's the other diagram the other diagram was played we know there's an imperial order in hand we haven't seen anything else and we know we're gonna even a masterpiece oh no never mind okay i thought he was tripping the masterpiece there no we're good we're good still now he's gonna get the masterpiece unfortunate this is a fourth amendment day. We know he has the order. He went for apocalypse. Interesting. I wonder why. That must mean he already has return, or he's planning to just tribute uh, spell trap. I mean masterpiece probably. That would be my guess because he knows I can't out it. Yeah, this is gonna be a spell trap. I mean masterpiece because my monsters actually don't deal with it other than ogre. So we're just gonna kaiju it, and hopefully we just. To punch him in the face. Yeah, just do Draco stuff, no big deal. That auto win off Eradicator was great. So, Draco stuff, Draco stuff, Draco stuff. Just do win some Draco stuff. 
yeah, I'm totally going to skip all this shit. <laughs> There's so much. He did – that just does so much for free. Let's go. Top deck kaiju, baby. Top deck that kaiju. That's not the kaiju I wanted to see. Uh, rest in pepperonios. Stand by phaserino. Anything. What you got for me, boy? What you got for me? Stand by phase. Okay. Activate. Spellbook of Sigurates. Iron Wall. Oh, dude, that's so good. That beats. I didn't even think about that. That just beats fucking thing. Maiden, yeah. Do your maiden shit. Fuck you. Okay. Yeah, I still don't have a hand trap. Um, I guess the most manageable normal summon right now is Prophecy. Oh, God. This is such a hard match right now. So, from there, we have to add a card from our deck to our hand. Um, I would guess Circle is the best card here. Even though we don't have an enabler, it allows us to stack our deck to try to get into one. So, that's where I'm going to play that from there. Uh, I know he has Iron Wall, but I don't really give two poops. Ooh, ooh, what's the play? That's going to be a masterpiece, ain't it? That's a masterpiece. Okay. Yeah, fuck me up, dude. Wait, what? What? Is this real life right now? What is he doing? That seems like a super huge misplay. And he just doesn't want me to magician circle search, I guess. And that situation is okay, but like he doesn't want me to stack my deck, whatever. Response He just doesn't want me to stack my deck. Oh my god, that's so weird. Okay. Now I can just play for free. I'm totally okay with this situation. Um yeah, I want to do that. Draw oh, two cards. Hey, that's pretty good. Um, not really though. <laughs> oh, it's almost good. I needed to draw something better than that. Honestly, honestly. Um, this is okay. This would have been really nice if I could have stacked the Eternal Soul and seen the next card. Hmm. He diagrams me, but I don't die. Some some pass. I don't want to do anything with this hand. Um, do I die? Let me see. It's me twenty nine fifty. Yeah, I die. I die to this. Expected. I didn't try hand traps. He got to desire. He got to demise me. Whatever. That was totally expected to happen. So. Dark Mansion Attack is still pretty good in this matchup, but not amazing. So we're going to move to side. We're going to move to next game. Yeah, I had to draw Apprentice. Had I drawn Apprentice, I just won that game for completely for free. Because then I wouldn't be able to just uh, reborn it back and just beat over Masterpiece, I think. Was it you know, Yeah, no, it was Monster Trap Immune. Um, hmm. I should have been able to beat that anyways. Uh, let's see. Eternal Soul Monster Reborn. Yeah, maybe there's way, but so much stuff. The dark magic attack actually just would have would have just rinsed him. Now that I think about it, so I just needed that eternal soul to be apprentice, but it happens. So I guess we go first to try to get a free win again. I don't think dark magician is amazing, but this hand is amazing though. God damn. All right, if he has drills, he has drills. That's the weakness of this engine, is that if they have a drill, they just f fucking push your dick push your dick in. Uh, Secrets was debatable, actually. Because I probably wouldn't mind us a normal summon. A normal summon apprentice. Ad a normal summon um, dick face sounds really good. Let's stack her deck. Okay. I'm not liking Monster Born that much in here. Um, Regetti is okay. It, it answers Masterpiece, which is kind of nice. 
Then we just did those two cards, I guess. No big deal. Okay, if you have the ash, you have the ash. I don't care that much here. But my hand is good. I don't need the second navigation ever. Do I? I don't have a way to get to him yet. That's so shit. That's the main fucking issue with this deck. Is you don't have a way to get to Dark Magician efficiently. Why is this off the field? That's not right. <laughs> That'd be a really bad card. But yeah, you don't get to Dark Magician, you just lose. It's so dumb. Sure. Yep. This was expected. Tribute masterpiece. Watch me cry. Sure. Yep. Oh, that's just an Ignis? Oh, I don't give a shit about Ignis. Yeah, go for it, man. <laughs> Fucking matter. I don't have shit. If I had shit, I would have responded to your spell and traps, honestly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because Ignis is a search anyways. If I just draw a Dark Magician, I'm like in this game immediately. It's so dumb that I just... I might just monster. I might reject you, monster born is bored, honestly. No spell you can draw matters. Tribute? Okay. Majesty Maiden. Wow, that's pretty good. Okay. Yeah, I just have to take the damage because I just didn't fucking draw it out. It's so fun. I just didn't draw like a way to deal with those. I just, no, it's, it just didn't draw Dark Magician. That's so AIDS. I hate how this deck just works like that. And, and I just didn't draw away the seed either. Oh, no, 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 thank you. That's not happening. <laughs> no, that is not happening. Sure, did Ignis Heat, fuck you, whatever. Um, You don't have a way. Why would you do that? Why don't you draw a Masterpiece in this game? I don't get that. I don't know why you wouldn't get Masterpiece off this. This deck doesn't feel that bad. It's just like the, it just has the same issues it kind of always had. Where it's like, oh, I didn't draw the two cards I needed for the Herpy Derp. And then you lose. <laughs> it's just, it's just, oh, it feels so bad. Okay. Draw for Tornarino. And hey, more cards I can't use for that DM. Now, now, he just wins. He literally just wins by adding Masterpiece and having Tribute Fodder now. Ain't that fun? Ain't that fun, kids? Because I still do not have a Dark Magician. Yeah, okay. Yeah, go for it, man. Yeah, you just fucking summon Masterpiece and beat me because... <laughs> I'm fucking kidding me. I hate that. Like, this game would be so easy if I had just drawn Dark Magician. Literally, it just would have been a joke of a matchup, honestly. If one of the, if any of these three cards were Dark Magician, I was fine. This is why I want to play Duality, just to get into this. But then it, you, like, remove one of your other searchers to get it, which sucks. So if I had Apprentice or Dick Face or, like, any card, I would have been okay. But now my opponent has five cards, and I can take 3,300 damage and not die, and that's it. That's literally all I have going for me right now. I can Monster Reborn here. I, like, that's how I would possibly win this game. But it's so unlikely at this point that I win. It's just absurd. And it's 100% just because this deck needs a Dark Magician in hand to play 90% of the time. Let's like, that's I don't like this card. This is why this card to me is debatable to run. Um, just fucking sure. You know what? Just set everything. Remove all my cards, please. I didn't draw Dark Magician this game. I didn't draw Kaiju this game, or a Kaiju last game, and I didn't draw. Yeah, it came down to the fact that I just didn't draw the right cards at the right time. It's pretty much all it was. The only game we actually, the only match we won was the match versus Magicians, which were side deck to beat, so.
I guess like I don't think you should lose the trick star ever with this deck. It just so happened that this guy just drew scapegoat and beat me with scapegoat because I didn't have the right cards to deal with a Bora load. And he lives the hundred HP the one time it happened. So yeah, good times. Not that, but I played like two top ranked players. This guy's gotta be like one of the top a hundred right now on Dylan Bark. And so, yeah, where's the stoop? He beat he beats me with like yeah, he just beats me. Yep. Yay. Yeah, no, you you probably win this game. If you have a trap card and another monster, you win the match. Good job. Yeah, there's nothing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's literally nothing I can do about this. There's no way he doesn't beat me. We'll just move on. I didn't draw Dark Magician. Okay. So, how did I lose those games? Um, my hands were underwhelming at times. What I, was, what I would say is the biggest reason I lost. I would say Monster Reborn was never not a brick in this deck. Yeah, I, that's that's a big thing I would say. Monster Reborn was never not a brick. Uh, Imperial Order didn't really fulfill its job, although in certain, time, in certain matchups it would have. I drew it a turn too late the one time I actually needed it. So I'm gonna try Monster Reborn. It's just kind of ass. I just don't think this is a deck where it fits. This is a deck where you're trying to establish board presence. You have like infinite recursion with Eternal Soul. I don't see myself ever needing that. Uh, you want to? You need to draw Magician Navigation early. You need to Eternal Soul early. Uh, what card do we play that just kind of gets us into this game more? Now, Duality and Demise would be my two options right now because I think they're just more draw power that, that this deck needs. Um, Robe seems like ass to me. I, I guess I did it. You flip Eternal Soul, and then you get the special summon from the deck. But you have to neg to do that. And negging to summon a Dark Magician in a deck that it f just job is to summon Dark Magician kind of feels really bad. Um, so I think the better normal summon, 99. <laughs> I mean, actually, 99% of the time is Spellbook Magician of Prophecy. Because that'll actually get me more cards. You need kind of that advantage. And had I had like an advantage engine rolling the next turn, I might have been able to snowball that game because I just needed a better top deck. So I think we can do that from there. With Monster Reborn removed, we kind of like to make space up for something else too. Um, for the cards to cut, I think if we're running one, two, three, four, five, we did into it fairly consistently, but not as much as I'd like. Um, I think seven's pretty, seven or eight are both pretty optimal for normal summons, because we don't want multiple normal summons in this deck particularly. So I kind of like where the normal summons are at, where we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That seems pretty perfect. Inheritance, we can maybe run two of that, because we're going to, anytime we use the Secrets engine, we're going to put two in the graveyard. That's the only time. So Inheritance seems a little bit more win, win more in that regard. Duality play, doesn't work with Apprentice. So the one card I can see adding would be a Single Desires, which honestly to me sounds kind of bad. It sounds kind of bad to me. Um... The reason I say that is because like it's a one of, but I think it's a one of where if you get to it at the right time, it's a good recovery card. Usually in this deck, you don't want to banish all your Dark Magician, so you want it once you get to a Dark Magician, and you want to be able to like, recover your board state a little bit. Uh, the other card I was kind of missing, I felt like was Cyclone. I didn't have I didn't have it in the side. Okay, Silver versus Anub this time. Should be a pretty easy win. I'll go first. Okay, my hand is pretty good. Now let's thin our deck a little bit. Effects. We have Eternal Soul Dark Magician. It doesn't really do anything to the board um, without Circle, which sucks. I guess that's why the Winch Engine is, here, is in the deck. So I did it. But uh, I just, uh, I don't know. I hate that you have to draw circle for this deck to do really to be really strong. Ooh, double eternal soul dark magician. So spooky. Really, really, Cam? Really? That's how we're gonna play this? Okay.
That's how we're playing this game right now. I fucking have summon Dark Magician as my play. Sick. <laughs> it's so bad. Wow, that is awful. My play was is going to be Summon Dark Magician and Valor. Dude, that's so shitty. It's literally so bad. I don't even know what you do with this deck. Okay. Like, is it just adding the Crystal Wind made sense, or adding the Wind Witch Engine made sense, but you add more bricks to your deck, uh, Robe doesn't really do You just need to get into... F yeah, we're, we're going to scoop this game. We're not going to reel we're playing. We're just going to scoop. I, I, can't, I can't beat a Diagram. Just straight up, I don't beat Diagram with that hand. Because all I do is summon Dark Magicians and just lose. So, uh, in this matchup, Imperial Order is okay. It'll stop the Diagram effect for a turn going first, so I'll keep it. Uh, Valor is ass tier, so we're going to cut Valor. Um, Desires I'm fine with. Rejecty I'm fine with. Um, Kaijus, we need to do it. We need to sideboard it out to those the fucking guy. I only need two though. I think going first. So I don't want to draw into it with my starting hand. Uh, Secrets, we want to open that for control. Pure Rest and Eradicator. All that's really good in this matchup. Um, fuck. This deck is such shit to play sometimes. Uh, Inheritance. I'm gonna cut. We'll swap that. I think out of all the cards, it's probably the worst in here right now. So yeah, we want to play those. Go first. Uh, let's hope we don't break. Let's go. Circle, secret, circle, circle. Okay. Um, let's try it. In. Let's try it in. Fact. Yeah, as soon as I saw diagram, I knew I lost that game, which really sucks. I just didn't have an out to it. Um, knowledge. If he has the ash, he has the ash here. Sucks. Cool. That would have been really nice. All right, so we're digging right now to RNG Jesus. To pull a Dark Magician or a Ebon. Illusion, Illusion. <sighs> Thank the RNG gods. Effects. All right, now my hand is playable. Thank the Lord. It took me forever. Almost none of my hands ended like on a solid board. On activation. On activation. I want a level three or lower. I guess just double apprentice for now. Circle. He's got the ogre. I'm having a bad time. Okay, this is a, this is more playable. Then I'm gonna get rejected here, and I'm gonna be sad. Circle. So it's banished. Okay. Now we have one navigation to negate, and hopefully we'll get there. I fucking have to negate that. Yeah, I have to. That sucks, wieners, but we do. Okay. Yep, not much else I can do. I have to negate it, because it just pluses. Like, if I don't, then he can just draw into more extenders. If he has demise, he has demise. That's just where it's at. If he's getting the same amount of advantage, negate. Negate. It sucks that I opened like Redacted here too. But... <laughs> every time. Every time. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Diagram, desires, demise. 
every time Draco gets that. I swear to God, I always play through that shit. Okay. Well, let's hope they weren't good. Of course, it was a diagram. Okay. I don't have an order, so. Which I can do about that. Yeah, go for it, man. I have another one, I guess. It's not a big deal, but damn, that is annoying. Yeah, oh, I can just destroy return. That's not a big deal. Is this a heart? Is this a tribute over for Masterpiece? Masterpiece is spooky. Too spooky. Ooh, double trap. Tra double trapster piece. Okay. Oh. Ooh, that's annoying. But we just reject it and we're fine. He must have banished all his apocalypses then. Because he wouldn't have sacked return there. Ever. He clears my board, but we just rebuild it, I think, every time. That's fine. Uh, 1250. Oh, you're right. Yep, you're right. Didn't nice. Yep. Yeah, we just rejected Masterpiece here and win the game, I think. Hey, that's an order. Ha! Ha ha! Ha, bitch. You fucked. Um, we need a return here, I think, to win the game. One, uh, two, uh, three. Knowledge. Knowledge is interesting. Knowledge can possibly give me to my return. Which is where we're kind of needing it right now. Hmm. No, I see these cards. I see Apprentice and Kaiju. So I know it's not getting me to my return. But we get to we do get apprentice every we do get apprentice from this, so. Uh from there. I guess we top deck. Do I just win anyways? Yeah, we just did add the hand it in. So no matter what, I think I win this game because I have Ogre for uh, Diagram. No, he has the top deck demise to beat me. Sure. Ooh, okay, that's pretty good. Okay, yeah, I'll take the 26, that's fine. Red! Eternal Soul should just seal the game here. He's not gonna use... okay. Um, knowledge. We're normal, so it doesn't really matter what we do here. Uh, I guess let's give him a turtle because he didn't use he didn't use it at all. I don't know why. Set that. Get that boy out of our deck. I think that's all we need to do here. Uh, we already used both. Not both. Not just already used. Okay. Let's just throw that to graveyard and put boy in hand. Oh wait. Stop it. I don't know why I did that. I thought I. <laughs> I can't do that. Um. There. I guess that's turn. Eternal Soul? Banish. This guy's pretty low, so whatever.
share. Um, oh, I shoved my neck even. That sucks. All right, we'll do this. Bobbity boopity. And then we'll send. Where are you? Send that to a grave to do that. Oh my god. Fucking. That was retarded. Oops. Let's click. So, we meant to do that. Pop damn a seal. Talk everything. Talk everything. Yeah, of course I'm in main too. What? No shit? Dude, this guy's really weird. If you do anything, you lose the game. Yeah. Yep. Uh, from here... Put the other kaiju, I guess. I don't know what else we do. We can put Valor in, and then we just... It's not the best card. Um, so cards that this is going to be booty always now. Eradicator is pretty bad. It's kind of where I wish I had like the Imperial Orders in my sideboard. Good enough. We'll just tie, we'll just tie you as Masterpiece and win the game. I don't remember if I put Dark Match attacking or not. I think I did. I think I remember seeing it. VIT Dark Match, yeah. I put it in. And, oof. Oh, that board. That board. <laughs> All the good cards. All the good cards in one fucking thing. <laughs> that hand is so bad. What is that? Navigation, knowledge, dark magic, type, reject, gamma seal. The bricks. The bricks are unreal. Yeah, no hand traps. Dude, I swear to God, I can't beat this deck because I just... When I play Dark Magicians, these are just the hands you get. It's like, why? Why, game? Why? And I guess this is why you want to play the Crystalline, but like, I don't see how... A normal summon last spell would make my deck better. Ever. That's your play? That's all you're doing. Oh my god, dude, that's so easy. Dude, I'll kaiju that for days. Ooh. Dude, what? What? No. Dude, no, that's like super not made in effect. <sighs> oh man, I'm in it right now. Effects. Effect of that boy. Wow, that's all he did. Man, I actually might win this game now. Holy shit, I thought I just auto lost there, but nope. We do chi. I think for the most part, at least right now. As long as this knowledge is true. Uh, I probably should have searched, searched the other blue boy for this. I'm going to get punished now and draw a blue boy. Please don't punish me, daddy. Okay. Now, if I get a dark magician. One. Dude, it. No. It happens on activation. Dude, this guy had no idea how fucking ruins work. Okay. <sighs> Thank you, game. Thank you for actually giving me what I want. This is a, This is a special day. It actually gave me what I want. Oh shit. Um, it doesn't matter. We're gonna go into the deck anyways, right away. Oops. Uh, we don't want to do that right now. 
So we have a, we have damage seal, so we follow up match turn pretty well. Um, yeah. You can't order, yeah, you can't order a card on activation. That's not how it works. Like order MST. I want to hold every card in my hand right now. The worst is probably Dark Magic Attack, knowing what's on this field. But I have any second effect. I'm really, this guy's confusing the shit out of me. Like, I don't know what he's confused about. It's not like that confusing, I want to say. So, just put like your order back in your hand. Like, this isn't how the game works. Um, all right, no big deal. Uh, so, illusion add the dark magician. Order her. Activation. So now he's order in hand. So I don't really stare the rest of his hand, honestly. Now I think about it. Mm. So no response to so no response to illusion. No response to illusion. Yeah, order it. If, okay. That's what I figured was gonna happen. That's okay though, because now I get to navigation his diagram, and that's what I was really hoping for. In reality, I want to reject you this because I'm scared of it. <laughs> I don't want him to have a turtle. I don't have any advantage. Just I'm just gonna snowball this game from here. Navigation. He has an ash. He has an ash. Yeah, I still added dark magician. Dark magician. And then I guess I want illusion here. Did I use rod already? No, I didn't know I didn't add. Okay. Um. Yeah, I guess we go illusion here. Circle. Um, so. So. Uh, chain link one. Circle. Chain link two. Illusion. Circle vanish diagram. Illusion and dark magician hand. Okay, I think I misplayed there before because I forgot to do it when I summoned her, but that's really important. So we get that to hand. And I think we win the game from here. He Yeah, I think we win from here. Oh, he's got the other terraforming. It doesn't matter though. What do you what do you did? Like nothing matters here. He does, I guess he returns? What? Uh, I guess if he has a spell, if he has heritage. Do we just win? I think I just win. Just I need a date diagram now. Yeah, I think Raj just gives me game. Okay. Effect. I just put Eternal Soul to hand. I just go circle. I'll be super greed. The greed circle sounds so nice right now. We got two banishes, right? Yeah. Oh no, it's only one. It's hard once per turn on both effectorinos. So I'll just not greed. I'll just not super hard greed and just take eternal soul. Um, and then see, so punch him for damage. Yeah, just face punch. Just face punch him for damage. So we get 61 into him. It's 
pretty good. Um, and then we secrets for knowledge. Knowledge. Do we have a knowledge index still? Okay, I just missed it for some reason. All right, so secret for knowledge here, and then we activate spellbook of knowledge to sacrifice magician's rod. To draw two cards. It's a fucking pot of greed. And we drew the cards he probably can't beat. Pass turn to him. Yeah, game's over. 100%. Go for it. I do not give a shit. There's nothing you can do from here. Um, Banish Neg. Yep. Okay, we did it. Wow, that was hell. Um, yeah, but I could see, like, once I established it wasn't that hard. I think I just got god-handed a lot. Like, that guy, I played into a torrential once. Super my fault. I should not have played into that torrential. If I didn't play, if I thought about it, and I was like, oh, if I get torrential here, and he has stayed, but I'm fucked, I probably wouldn't have done it. Um... Yeah, this is what I would play if I was going to play, like, kind of optimized build. I don't like the Crystal Wing engine because you add more normal summons and, like, brick draws to your deck that are just bad. Kind of the same with the Dragon's Mirror. I think it just adds another brick to the deck. I think the deck before wasn't being able, wasn't able to play well going second. Um, I think that was one of the main flaws I had is, like, your only way to go second was to, like, Ghost Ogre and Rejecty them. The deck didn't really have much comeback. It still is It's a little bit more consistent now. Um, I got rid of the brick cards to make sure. You lost a little bit of power off the cr not having the one card crystal wing, but you, I think, I'm guess like, in my opinion, there's so many easy ways to out that crystal wing in the decks right now. Um, like, anything that can make a Boral load can out it. Uh, that it's, it's just so easy to out, and it just doesn't auto win games hard enough that to me it feels worth playing. Um,. Like, since there's just so many outs to it, like a Mechaba beats it, a Mechaba, like Invoke thing beats it. There's a lot of ways to just beat the card. Um, I still don't know what to beat it. I think, I don't know. I don't know what I'm thinking of. I think Raging is what I'm thinking of. Uh, there's a lot of ways to beat it right now. And when there's a lot of ways to beat a card, that you have to like bog down your deck with bricks to summon it. Anytime you drew a Wind Witch after that, it was always a brick. So if they removed the first crystal when you didn't win by that time, you lost the game. I don't think the deck was reactive enough with what it was, just all you really had outside of like um outside of like Circle, Eternal Soul, and Crystal Wing. Or it was outside of a uh, uh, Eternal Soul Dark Circle or like Navigation Circle, all you really had to stop your opponent was that crystal wing and three odors now you have two ash three veilers and you're not you're playing less bricks inside the deck um since you cut the one way you had to make dragon like consistently try to make dragon cards in your deck you got to remove mirror which fine i guess uh you have to remove dragon's mirror which is a good card to remove i think i think it's a really good card to remove in this deck because it's like a hard brick going first i cut monster reborn because i think it, it's an extender but it doesn't extend into anything in particular the only thing you can really bring back with it that's strong is a prince of magician it gives you a top deck on your turn to hit dark magician off circle with but to have a dark magician in graveyard you usually have to establish it already or like hard draw illusion and usually if you're like making illusion magicians and i uh, have like dark magician to send your hands not too bad uh, yeah, so I think this is a more consistent build. The side deck might need work. I think I'm side deck for most of the meta right now. Uh, Steel Drain beats a lot of stuff. Chaos Hunter beats a lot of stuff. You have the Kaijus um, and the third a and the third Ash to put in versus um, your main problem, like versus like True Draco or Trick Star. Uh, Chaos Hunter is good versus Trick Star versus ABC. So I think you you match up pretty well with a lot of the decks you'd be worried about in the meta. Um, you have Reaper for ABC. You have Reaper for Invoke. You have Reaper for uh, Magicians. You have Reaper for uh, Spirals, and you have Reaper for <laughs> Gem Knights, or even in a uh, Reaper for Omega if it's relevant. So I think there's just a lot of cards here where you do face the match, the face the meta pretty well with your sideboard. Um, the only thing I'm, the thing I'm personally scared of is the fucking scapegoat. Scapegoat's so good. Uh, Circle just outs Boral Load, so it's not usually a problem. But and you have Navigation, which a lot of the times will out scapegoat. But yeah, dude, scapegoat's good. <laughs> scapegoat's good against a deck like this. So I think it's fair. I think this deck's okay. It's it's a deck where like if you don't open your hands right, you'll lose a lot of the time. I don't think. 
I'm pretty sure this is close to like what you'd want optimized for a Dark Magician deck in the current meta. Uh, Ratio-wise, everything seems okay. You have eight normal summons, which uh, one in five. You, sh in my opinion, if you want one, if you want to draw one of a card in a deck, you want to play eight of it. <laughs> if you want to like almost guarantee you're opening this card, you want to play eight of it because um, when you play eight of a card, you every time you draw, it's about a twenty percent. Every draw in your deck is like a twenty percent chance to draw that card. Now, obviously, this doesn't guarantee hundred percent, but to me, logically, it's fairly close to that. Most of the time when you play out of a card, you should see it. So your eight normal summons are all really strong ones you want to see. You want to see Rod, you want to see Prophecy, uh, and you want to see Secrets to like get your normal summons. But you don't want to see too many of them. Because if you see like multiples, your hands usually pretty bricked down with cards. Um, and they all just get to the stuff you need. You play the hand traps to remove stuff, and you play your power traps to win the game. Uh, Eradicator, Imperial Order, and Solemn Judgment are all game stealer cards. I think Imperial Order is really good in this deck. Um, it protects your Eternal Souls, uh, which is really important to me. I, th I think it's really important because it's one way you generate advantage to make uh, XYZ in this deck. So it protects your Eternal Souls, and then um, you can't Dark Magic Circle with it, but I think if you flip it at the right time, it's worth the fact that you can't Circle. Uh, the One Desires to me seems correct most of the time. You need that follow-up card sometimes to like, get you back in the game when you're top decking. Uh, it's another draw card. It just kind of fills up space into just a good card. It kind of upstart in that kind of like upstart in that regard. You want to draw it, but it's more you want to draw it once you've already established at least one dark magician or two dark magicians, so you can kind of have it snowball you the game. Uh, three apprentices right. I think two ashes right. The best deck in the game isn't really hurt by ash right now. Uh, in pen magicians. Uh, three of Ailer is correct. It's a knowledge target at wor worst case scenario. It's a knowledge target. Um, you can synchro with it if necessary. I put the target in there and Omega for it, which isn't terrible. It is just good against pretty much everything right now. It stops all the searching of a lot of decks. The only deck it's really bad against is um, True Draco. You have Ogre. Ogre is strong versus just about everything. I think it's one of the best hand traps right now. Versus Magicians, it stops all of their scales. Uh, along with that, it can hit Electromite if they do search with it. Rod. Rod, Spell Magicians makes sense. You need Triple Dark Magician because you're playing Dark Magician. The one Inheritance, I'm kind of iffy on because you don't really... Uh, outside of doing the spellbook combo, you don't really have a way to like re reliably re resolve it. But I guess I see why it's in there. It's a really good card when you do resolve it because it's just like, hey, we have to add stuff from our deck to our hand. So it's okay in that regards. Uh, it's also a quick place to use any of your opponent's turns. Triple circle is necessary. Desires is good enough. It's it's better than Reborn in my opinion. It makes your going first and second better uh, than Reborn usually would if you draw it early. Uh, I mean, some people don't like it in here because you. If you banish like th all three of these, you're kind of fucked. But the odds of banishing all three is just ridiculously low. Uh, Regeki, good card, just in general. Knowledge, necessary for the engine. Triple secrets, necessary. Upstart, you want to thin your deck, which makes sense. Eradicator can be auto winning in some decks, as you saw in the Draco match I played. Uh, triple Eternal Soul, necessary because you're playing Dark Magician. Judgment, or Imperial Order, protects you and can floodgate out some decks. Uh, like Magicians, you can floodgate out their um, Pendulum Graphs or their Foolish Barriers or their Shrines. Uh, versus a lot of deck, this flood gets them pretty hard. Even if it's just a one for one, like you stop their diagram for a turn, that's helpful. Uh, navigation, it's magicians, you have to play it, and judgment makes sense. Uh, the third ogre, or third ash for another hand trap, if you have to, if failure's not as strong versus some decks, or when you're playing against like Trich Star, it's necessary. Chaos Hunter versus for, um, I guess, I guess I would say Chaos Hunter is for beating like ABC, Trich Star, and, um, Zombies slash Lightsworn variants. Triple Turtle, because Turtle's broken. You use Turtle stuff and you win. Um, triple Ghost Reaper and Winter Cherries, because I think this is one of the best hand traps in the format right now. And just hand trapping out decks is really and a really strong way to win, uh, especially when you just get rid of their win condition, which would be Buster, Invoke Macabre, Electromite, uh, Helix. Uh, Dark Magic Attack for those pesty backer decks when you just want to... It's a searchable out, just... Uh, I've actually lost magicians, uh, dark magician before by them just draw, like by them just hard playing this card on me and ruining my day. And then the one steel drain because there's a lot of matchups where you just make bigger beaters than them and flipping a steel drain can win the match. Uh, this is one that I'm questioning, but I think it's still fine. Uh, for the extra deck, uh, we play lapis because it's good, I guess. Um, it's relevant when you resolve it mainly. Uh, it's relevant when you like as a reaper target. And it's Maybe mind game some people and just uh, just tricking them what you're playing if you're playing this in real life. Uh, one star Venom Fusion Dragon because I guess if you do flood data or quaking, it's really you need it. It's necessary. Uh, Leo in case you need to in case you need to uh, higher than three tape beater or you need to synchro with your tune with one of your tuners uh, one of your hand traps. It's okay. Omega it's for the Valor. It's also a uh, target for 
<laughs> it's also a target for the Omega. Oh I'm breaking right now. It's a target for Reaper also. Uh, Ptolemy M7 is okay. <laughs> That's all I have to say about him. Evan High Magician, he's pretty good, I guess. He gets a Dark Magician back, he pops a card. Um, you activate from your hand, which is decent. I guess he was already in there. I didn't mess with level 7s too much. I think they're all necessary. Evan Illusion Magician it lets you overlay with uh, one of your one of your Prince Illusion Magicians, which is nice. So that's helpful. Uh, from there, it just lets you special summon a normal one from your deck. So, or from your hand. Is it from your deck? Ooh. Oh, wow. I should have gone for a game a couple times. I didn't. Yeah, I shouldn't actually lost to that Church Star guy. Or, yeah. I shouldn't have lost to the Church Star guy. Oh, I'm mad now. That was dumb. No, I still lost to him. I think I still lost to him. Because it only added an extra 500 damage onto the combo, so. Yeah, so. um, Yeah, I guess you just did it. You get the banish cards. I could have forced this tape code out. So I could have played that better. I shouldn't have lost that guy. Um, Hierophant, it's because you play Spell Engine. It can pop up to three Spell and Trap cards, which is kind of relevant. Narito, it's your way to overlay with these guys. That's kind of relevant. Big Eye takes the Red Eye Slur Metal. Burn people, as you saw, I did play it versus the um, true, uh, the Trajector Guy. It was relevant. Dito Talker, uh, sometimes you have to make it. I don't see this coming up too much, but it's there just to be there. At worst, it's a Reaper target. Imduck, uh, I see why he plays it. He plays it to out. Like, if someone makes a Dito, you can just destroy the Dito. Yeah, because it's it's about it's start damage to best opponent's monster. They start points to you can destroy their opponent's monster. So if they're playing their zones wrong or if they just make a detoed, it just auto outs detoed, which isn't terrible. And then I put in one on clock taker because I think it outs like some problematic cards and allows you to just beat over some big fatties that you otherwise might I might otherwise might struggle to. And it's just a generic link too, which can come up at times. So that's the whole deck. I think it all makes sense. I don't know what changes I would make personally right now, other than maybe tweaking the side act a little bit, cutting steel drain. Uh, I kind of want Cyclones at times, so it would be nice to have those. Other than that, the main board, I think everything played kind of where I wanted it to. Imperial Order is a little bit questionable, but I think it makes sense in a lot of the matchups where you'd want to resolve it. The only other thing I think of is maybe adding it out to evenly matched. Uh, but I think this deck, for the most part, plays through evenly matched pretty well with Navigation. So, not a big deal there. If you Navigation, you're out evenly matched, so... For the mo most of the time, you'll be doing on that. So uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, remember to subscribe and check out my channel for more. This will be a long one, so I'll make some annotations in here so people can click through it. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope um, 5610 really likes the deck I updated too. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.